Hello and welcome, it's Joe and I've got a team this season, Medi Benicia, player of you for you guys today. He's a centre back, plays for you easy, 87 rated, 71 pace, 62 dribbling, 90 defending, 87 heading, 45 shooting and 69 passing. I'm using him in this standard Serie A team, he cost me 97,000 coins, 2 star skills and 3 star weak foot, he's 6 foot 2 and he is right footed. I used him with like Lamella, team season Lamella up at right wing, I'm going to be doing a review on him very very shortly so make sure you look out for that and just gonna get into his in-game stats right now so he's got 81 ball control 88 heading 94 marking 90 shot power 84 sliding tackle and 96 standing tackle along with 96 interceptions 90 aggression 90 strength 87 reactions 85 jumping and 74 acceleration along with 69 sprint speed okay so as you're gonna see in the clips he is just an absolute brick wall when defenders try and get through him they just can't because his stand tackle is so very good they try and get like round him either side and just sticks his leg out and manage to get the ball away and win it for our team and start off the attack um this is helped by his amazing interceptions pretty much someone tries to pass through him or get through him he's pretty much just gonna get his foot out and get the ball along with his i think he's got like really good reactions as well so 87 reactions that is so he's reacts really fast to manage to get the ball off the opponent that's trying to get past him along with 90 aggression and 90 strength means he's an absolute tank so you can push players off the ball with easy bullies of the attackers around and pretty much if you get side to side with him and an attacker he's just going to nudge them off the ball and win it back for our team one of the negatives to him was his passing I wasn't really that impressed with his passing it was quite poor at times and I would prefer on my centre backs for their passing and dribbling just to be a bit better so that I could play in defence a little bit more. Um, another good thing about him was his pace. His he was different to most centre backs who normally have a high sprint speed to the acceleration, but he was the other way around. He had a high acceleration towards his sprint speed, so that was a real advantage because he can accelerate to um, catch up attackers or keep it with them, and then he uses his massive strength just to push them off the ball, and he's just an amazing defender. Um, I didn't find too much problem with his sliding tackle either. It's quite low at 84, but because he's so big at 6 for 2, he um, has a really long body, so he stretches out and gets the ball with his sliding tackle. I found it really, really effective just to um, reach out and stop attackers that are pretty fast and I really like using him in the defensive sort of um, manners. Another good thing about him was his heading. Being 6 foot 2 with 85 jumping pretty much wins everything in the air. No, Not many attackers can beat that. He's incredible in the air and he um, wins every header for me along with 88 heading actually means if he gets on one top of one from a corner he's gonna put it away. Um, that's pretty much the end of this review. If you had the money, I would advise you go get him. His pros are his heading, his pace, his defending, his interceptions, everything pretty much his heading. They're really good, and his cons are just his passing and maybe his dribbling. So this is pretty much the end of this review. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you have the money, go get him, but he's not... He Just get a bonnet if you don't, because he pretty much does the job. Anyway, so I'll see you later. Bye.